Good afternoon. It's Saturday, a little after 5 uh, Central Time. And a brief update from uh, the uh, Santorum Romney race in uh, Illinois. Now, of course, the latest numbers show uh, Mitt has a lead that's just outside the margin of error for polls, which the margin of error is typically about 3 to 4 points. And Mitt's lead is, according to the polls, is just a little bit uh, wider than that. But here's a couple of things to consider. The first thing to consider is that uh, these polls are constructed based on a certain statistical model. The people making the polls assume that turnout is going to be more or less like it was in the past. And that means they're assuming a certain percentage of Republicans will show up from collar counties, and that favors Mitt from the Chicago area, which definitely favors Smith because Chicago tends to be more liberal than the rest of the state, and then downstate, which favors Rick. So remember, the, po the polling is based on old models. So one way we can upset the apple cart is to upset the model, which means change turnout. And the other thing to consider is that Mitt polls very, very well with her wealthy friends and neighbors and our more um, highly educated liberal ones, the ones, again, who live in the, the collar counties in Chicago, the ones who live in, in Chicago itself. So here are some things we can do. The, f the foremost thing is to get out the vote. And that means if you have friends at church, Ask them if they're going to vote. You don't even have to tell them about Rick. Chances are, if your household is making under $100,000 a year and your friends are Republican, then if they vote, there's a good chance they're going to vote for Rick, at least in Illinois. And that's especially true downstate. Now, I'm not saying don't talk about Rick because I think it's a good idea. You know, see if, you know, they can be persuaded. But that's the number one thing we can do is get our friends to the polls, especially if you live downstate, especially if you go to church regularly, as I'm sure most of you do, and especially if your uh, friends and neighbors are of the $100,000 or less. In other words, especially, you know, salaried employees, hourly employees, uh, people of that nature are going to be more predisposed to voting for Rick. So get out the vote operations are essential. Now as far as talking to your friends and neighbors, you'll find some of your friends, your Republican friends, might really prefer Rick to Mitt, but they might think, well, Mitt's the most electable. Well, remember, a lot of the poll information out there is based on national numbers, which more reflects popular vote than the Electoral College, and as you know, Electoral College is what really produces a president. Remember President Bush did, uh, was 500,000 votes short of then Vice President Gore in the 2000 election, but because he won more electoral votes, he won the election. And it turns out that according to Nate Silver, a, a political statistician who writes in the New York Times, very nonpartisan in his analysis, that Rick is surprisingly competitive in the big Midwestern states that we have to win. Okay or that the Republicans have to win. So he is far more competitive than people realize. So if they're predisposed to vote for Rick, maybe you can allay their fears and say, yes, he can win. He's about as competitive as Mitt is. So that shouldn't be the issue. Now, of course, if they think Mitt's the best candidate, well, what can you do? The other thing is, if you have friends who are Democrats, you might ask them if there is a uh, competitive down-ticket race. And if there isn't, tell them that they or they can vote for Mitt in the um, primary election by just taking a Republican ballot. That will register them as a Republican. But in the fall, if they want to vote for President Obama, that's certainly their choice. There's nothing that says that they can't do that. Remind them they can vote for Rick in the primary and vote for President Obama in the fall. So that might be a way of getting some of your Democrat friends to the polls to vote for Rick. So there are ways to upset the apple cart and ways to make sure that uh, Rick takes Illinois and wins as many as the 44 uh, delegates that he can win as possible. 
Uh, thank you. Have a good evening.